If it's red, get it out the shed. Right, here I am, Massey man. Of course, it's all echo in here. It's, uh, it's quite a big space in here. But anyway, um, yeah, so here I am in the new Massey. Woo! Woo, new Massey. Let's just have a little pan round. Look, look at that shiny bonnet. Shiny, shiny, shiny. This is the shiniest tractor that's been on this farm for years. Um, so, I'm I've got my demonstrator here, my old Massey that, uh, from Chandler's. Uh, model number is, what is it? 5711M I've got. I'm sure I remember that, 110 horsepower. Uh, so I had a little drive round with it yesterday when it was arrived, when it arrived. Uh, I didn't film that because I just, you know, I thought, do you know what, sometimes you don't really want to just film stuff, you just want to get on with it. So. I had a little drive round. Harry gave it a perusal. You know what Harry's like. He, he likes his machinery. So today I'm actually out using it, and I, I you know, reality is I want to use this tractor as if I was using it every day on the farm. So, uh, so basically what we're doing today is we're going to go and move some round bales, the ones that have been in the field for quite a while. Um, I'm, I'm sort of just getting used to it, really. It's, do you know what it's like anything and it when you first get it it's, it's all it's everything's new on it and uh, it, it has a hell of a lot of similarities to McCormick and particularly being a quickie loader that's just identical um, but I'm just getting used to the buttons the gear shifts are quite like this really good to um, you can go up and down the gear range really quickly there we go just gone to four well, that's a bit high actually um, it's, it's really clever actually, it's, it's nice, it just drops backwards and forwards. Um, you can go into, you know, just take this off the tripod, I'm not, I'm not very good at using the tripod. Whoop. Right, so let me just point down to this little gear shift here. Now that is what I like, so I can go up and down the gears, look, and if you just watch that, I'm going up third now, see if you can fit, you see it picking up see the speed just by me going like that and then if I press that button there as I pull it back or, or forward it'll go up or down let me just go into second there you go go to second rather than third so that's a very simple gear and, and that's the first time I've used them like that um, oh, I've, got, I've already put my clutter in here I've already got some rolls of tape and stuff because I am almost guaranteed I'm going to rip some bales on them. Anyway, we're going to go along, uh, get some round bales. It gives me an opportunity to um, use this as a loader tractor and also as a pull-in. Anyway, I think Popmaster. Oh, it was Tina Charles. Popmaster. Well, you know what I said when I bought, got it for boys? We need to make sure I can get Popmaster on it. Get your priorities right. Any, tra <laughs> Any tractor I own has got to be able to do Popmaster. So we're gonna we're gonna do three and ten. That must be coming up soon. It's not Ken Bruce. It's flipping Gary David. Scandinavian group. We've opened all the gates. And then let's leave Gary to it. Right. Look at the red on that. Look at all the red. It's lovely. I'll just open that gate and get through, and then we'll be probably time for Botmaster. scratching this thing. I have taken out extra insurance on this, it's not here only short, but I don't really want to put a dent in the demo tractor. Although I tell you it's quite funny. Harry said to me, there's a dent in the bonnet. And I said, whoa, what? And he said, yeah, look, and I looked down there and thought, that looks a bit odd down there. The handbrake on, Ooh. and uh, so 
So I, I thought, oh my God, we've got a dent in the tractor. It wasn't a dent in the tractor, I was just showing the gate. It wasn't a dent in the tractor, it was actually the dynamics of the bonnet, how it's designed. So, panic over. Right. There you go, it's our little bale trailer. Shiny, 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 shiny. Alright, let's go get these bales. This is, it's all the red, it's so shiny, I'm not used to that. Everything on our pavement's all muted and dull, it's 30, 20 years old and faded. This is lovely and shiny. I'm gonna take it steady on this. It's very comfortable actually. I think I'm not sure it's a bit higher than our old tractor. I just I think it might be because I'm brushing against these leaves here. Not after last fill. Um, height-wise. Because I know it's a problem with modern tractors, the bigger they get, the, the more the trees become a problem on farms because the branches are generally quite low. See how we're doing with Potmaster. Hopefully, uh, thank you. Let's get through this gate and then hopefully I'll get three and ten and then we'll get on some proper farm work. You know what I'm like? I've got to get, I've got to get my Potmaster in, boys and girls. Right. There's a, the there's a round bales, look. We're going to be filling those up. Three and ten. Hang on. Singles four. Three in ten. Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. Abracadabra. Uh, superstition. Ebony and is that Ebony and Ivory? Um, oh. Is Abracadabra one? Say. <laughs> Well done. I just called to say I love you. Yeah. Abracadabra. Uh, right. Anyway, well, I, don't, I think I've done all right on that. Abracadabra. What am I thinking of someone? He didn't do Abracadabra, did he? I'll have to look that one up. Oh, oh geez, we're panic. Right, three and ten's done in the tractor. Let's just turn this up now. It's got a stereo. Um, I better say hi to Diggy. Uh, my kids really and me. Plenty of good sound there, I think. Right, that's probably not a priority of buying a new tractor, but um, let's just get going on this and then we'll see how we go with the loader. Visibility is very good on this. Very good. And we'll report back in a bit when we get to the field. Here we are then, there's the round bales. I do like this. <laughs> I'm just getting used to it now. It's just so nice to be able to up and down the gear, so easy. I don't know whether, I presume all tractor manufacturers now do that. We've got a little bit of that. Um, Cause you notice you've got no big clunky gear stick here anymore. You know, you know the high and low and all that. Usually two sticks. Um, they've all gone, which takes up a bit of clutter out of the cab. Actually, gives you a bit more space. Uh, so we're going to go over and get some bales. Uh, these have been in here for um, uh, what's it about three weeks now, probably. And the only reason I haven't moved them is well, there's two reasons. A, we don't really have the crow problem some people have with being packed. Um, but the other thing as well is, is because we hadn't had any rain, I wasn't worried about the grass regrowing because it just wasn't growing. So there was no worries about leaving massive green um, patch, massive patches. But we had rain last week and it's, it's starting to green up again now. So now's the time to really think about shifting this lot now before I end up with driving over a lot of fresh grass, which I don't really want to do. All right, let's get down. I'll drop this off and then we'll be on the, on the bales using this lovely new tractor. 
Right, here we go. Oh, I'm going too fast now. Let's just drop down a gear. Look at that, so easy. Right. Not we old. That, that grab, bell grab's 30 years old on there, I think. Right. Oh, I went too far then. Right. I'm not giving it much rev, I'm just I'm just taking my time on this. Look at this. One out. Don't need to use the clutch. Right. Now then. Get this right. That's nice and smooth. Should pick the bells up all right. Right. First bell on. Hopefully. If anything goes wrong with that bell, you can see it'll, it'll be falling off because my bell grabs a bit wonky. Can you see how th th that front? spike if you like isn't that it's at a funny angle it's because of the wear in it and i've welded it up and it's it's not straight so i've got to be a bit careful otherwise the bales fall through the so they should be parallel like that and they're, they're actually like that but it generally doesn't seem to make a lot of difference until i don't grab it quite enough and it and they slide through all right let's have a look can see I haven't grabbed that one well enough I've just blooming ripped it oh what was I saying as it slid through the bales slipped out oh that's my fault I don't think it's too much of a problem oh I didn't grab it enough right on. I left the tripod on for that while I was just in here doing it. Do you know what? Sometimes it's just easier to actually for me to use this um, without distraction of the camera actually. Um, yeah, seems very pleasant so far. I think the main, the main thing is I've noticed the ride is a lot more comfortable than um, the McCormick. Uh, it's just not back, you know, when I, if I go over a certain speed in McCormick, it must be that spring suspension Phil showed me in the video I did yesterday. Oh, you know, when it arrived when we did a walk round. 
Um, I don't know a lot about it, <coughs> but it seems to be, you know, I'm not getting bounced around like I was in the McCormick, which is, that's probably the most noticeable thing I'm seeing, just doing this job. That's the difference. I mean, the tech, tech and everything's moved on, isn't it? You know, um, yeah. and the visibility as well is better as well. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this today. It's going back tomorrow. I've only got I've only got it for uh, two days, so basically it arrived, uh, and I've got it for two days. Um, so today's my main usage day. I'm going to I'm not going to film everything doing this bells. I'll do a haul back as well. We'll see how that goes. Uh, and then what I'll do is I think I'll do a, a roundup video. Um, when they come and pick it up, I'll do a little bit of a review before they come and get it. In case there's anything I slag it off on. I don't want them there when that happens. And uh, I think Harry might actually have a little review video. He's gonna do as well. Bless him, he, he's, keen to, uh, he's keen to be involved with this tractor. Um, I haven't brought him out with me this morning because I thought it's probably better I don't really. You know, it's, new, it's all a new thing to me and I, you, know, you can't have children around when you trying to do this. It's bad enough trying to concentrate doing the video to be honest. Um, you have got to be careful. So uh, so yeah, so we, we'll, I'll do a review video, that'll be the next video after this will be a sort of what I think of it video really, you know. Um, but so far I haven't got, I'm not disappointed by it. You've got to, do you know what, you've got to get these things on demo really, if you're going to invest a considerable amount of money you you don't really want to just go I'll have that one because it's red or blue or whatever you need to you need to try them out although I think the standard of a lot of tractors these days is very very high and possibly very similar let's put that on there I've got my spool valves on the wrong way So just just because I'm not used to putting on this loader, I put the two connectors on the opposite way around than I normally do. So I'm automatically going to release the pinchers like that and it's tightening them. And that's just because I I just did that like that. Right, let's get a couple more bits on here, a couple more on top. I'm not going on the road so I haven't got to uh, worry about tying these on. steady no rush like the logo here that's the same as on 265 the old Massey logo still the same see the rip bell there look mm. I've got um, eight on the trailer I've got one on the front I'm gonna haul this back now to that stack we'll see I'm gonna see how this pulls compared with the old McCormick we'll we'll, uh, we'll see how we go anyway all right let's crack on see the other side
Well, that was an easy pull. No worries there anyway, because it's a bit of a slope up there. No worries about power getting up there or anything. Right, I'm just going to get this lot unloaded and then we'll just finish up really. Okay, so uh, maybe I'll do a little bit of time lapse. You don't want to see 20 minutes of me doing that in slow mode, do you? Let's do it in speed it up time. Let's go! Right, I've got to carry on doing this this afternoon. I'm going to be out here moving the route. I'm going to want to get all that field cleared this afternoon, but uh, I'm not going to get the video going all afternoon because the end of the day is, you know, I'm, I'd rather get on with the job. Um, I'm going to do a review video tomorrow if you if you tune in. Farmer P, I think, is popping in to have a look as well because he's he's getting a massy. I don't think he's getting this one, I think he's getting a different one, but he wanted to have a quick look at this, so I think it's possibly he's coming in tomorrow. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to tell you what I think of it, uh, any minuses and pluses, um, and at some point I think Harry wants to do a review video, which, do you know what, I'll let that stand alone, because Harry, you know what, bless him, you give him the encouragement, don't you, good lad. So, uh, he knows more about these things than I do, flipping it, I, gotta go, I go to him these days and I go, so tell me about um, blah blah blah, and you go, oh yeah, that's that's a model, whatever. That's a fourteen. That takes twelve ton or fourteen tons. And that he knows he's, he does a lot of farm simulator. Uh, he watches a lot of YouTube, and then of course he sees this as well. I just noticed that they got a little massy logo on the lights. The uh, lights are nice, aren't they? Anyway, um, distracted. Uh, right, I'm going to uh, get back to. Uh, get back to reality but uh tune in tomorrow get the proper review all right cheers crack on crack on i see power we you can watch the channel and watch both of us talking about the I tractor you're gonna, gonna get any feedback <laughs> is it gonna start whistling or something so. i did say earlier that ian was gonna look at my hair i've just got out of the shower like oh, i need a haircut ian yeah. it's why you got your hair i'm hiding mine so yeah did you, did you squat so. i um i did say earlier ian probably pop round and have a look at this but yeah. Rather than come tomorrow, he's coming today, this evening. So yeah, well, I had to come you over to bring me dad some tablets. Yeah, so I'm calling past. Fair play. So I got a question for you. You got, you've already done a few tractor vids, haven't you? I've done the New Holland, uh, Massey Ferguson. I think is Thursday, Friday. You've this got week. a Massey. Which one you got on I've that? I've got the five S S five. How many horsepower is that? Uh, uh, That's quite a big one. Isn't it? a, I think it's one. So this is 110. Yeah, I think it boosts to 135. Right. Oh, that's quite big, isn't it? Like yeah. So, so I think it's 115 to 135. So it's not much bigger than this. How have you got on with it so far comparing the blue? Well, you haven't had a chance to compare uh, chance yet, have you? Yeah, I, mean, I need to do that at some point because you, you, you know, it's like you have one and it's really nice, but yeah. the trouble is they could be all really nice. Yeah. You've got to fit the one I'm that fits sure you. Are. And I think I think at some of yeah. it's going to be a little bit of um, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, product. Uh, it's what colour you like, partly. What colour you like? Yeah. I like red, to be honest. I, I always I, have done because we've quite, been a, we've always had masses here. I'm quite fond of the red. The thing is, though, is my red one yeah. is actually a blue one in disguise. Is it? The case is the same as the TS uh, 100. Oh, I thought you need New to ask Holland. Harry about this. He knows all yeah, about this. Yeah. So, so the case. Yeah. The case is made in Austria and the New Orleans made in Italy and they're both come from the same parts bin. And it's all, all a little all, bit like that though, isn't it? McCormick are cases yeah. and whatever. And and I know. So, yeah. um, isn't it like some like Jaguars, uh, uh, Allegro parts in them and things like that? I think you'll find that probably kids. one or two people owns the whole lot. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's just split up into kids. I know. We just won't tell them that we're involved with that, yeah. bit, in that bit. So. Do you want to have a look inside and see? Yeah. Harry, if you come out, we've got yeah. the kids' seat. You, you're a slim we'll... figure, you'll have to squeeze by the kids' seat. Oh, but didn't you slip up? Yeah, it does. It's a funny one, it's, it spins round. Oh, right. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I said, well, I'll leave them there. Yeah. Well, just leave I know how it works now. I couldn't work it out. Yeah. 
Not sure if you're on Oh, I suppose you could fit on I've there. Had, I, I've sat on there. Not that yeah. Harry would have driven the tractor at all. So you've got a good view for the loader, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. So this is not unlike sitting in there. Actually, the size. This is uh, only a little bit smaller than the T5. Right. That I tried. Yeah. So the loader bracket's still quite high, though, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, do you know what? The... Uh, I think the design of the loader is slightly different. There's more steel in them. I looked at yeah. because it's both. This is a massy loader, but it's actually a quickie loader. Right. Okay. And if you look at our quickie, it's got less steel. And Phil did say something about it. It's more strength or something. Is it? But yeah. but it's because of the thickness of the steel. It's up higher. Because I when I on the uh, New Holland, I said to Marley, the New Holland, yeah. one, that I thought the steel in the New Holland one was thinner. Than right. Dad's old quickie loader. Yeah. But that thing's built like a. Yeah. Brick outhouse. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll reconvene in I'll a minute. I'll call you back, mate. Did you want a takeaway? You never stop. Is that your dad? No, it's one of my staff. Oh, but right. on, the, on the evenings, he um, rings up. What if you take that sort of well, the, he, That's the sort of staff I want. He, he does um, some takeaway deliveries on the evenings, yeah. some nights when they get really desperate. Yeah. Some of them, they call him, and, the, and when he gets when he does that, they, he gets free. Oh. He gets a free one. So oh no, really? So oh. sometimes I get a free takeaway. Flipping it! What a result! You know the right people. <laughs> <laughs> I might explain a few things, but uh, yeah. So three manual spools. Yeah. Throttle. Oh, that's what was that throttle? That's the gears. What? That's gears. Yeah. Oh, just up and down. Yeah. Punch up and down really nice. There. And then the button on the side. Listen here. Is to push in first, second, third. You know, like you do four. All oh, right. Okay. And then you've got the other gears in between. So it's a. a it, it took a took a while to get used to it. Yeah. I really like it. Once once I got used to it. Yeah. Um, so I've really only been using it on loader and um, pulling, well, and both of these are fine. Loader works to be ideal, wouldn't it? Oh yeah. Right here, yeah, it'd be lovely. Don't you? Well, it fits me my job just a job really. Yeah. Plenty of space, plenty of visibility. Yeah. You know, at some point I'll have to have a look at a blue just to see what they're like. But um, yeah. I honestly, I haven't done my review yet. I'm going to say what well, I, I know, think about it. I but... know. I know that Mr. Blue was going to be ringing you. He already has phoned me about a mower. Yeah, I knew, I knew Yeah, well, that's fair that, enough, yeah. isn't it? I've heard a feel about a mower. I'm just looking at options at the moment. Hey, might as well. Well, the thing is, you've got to not be well, You've got to trade them all off against each other. Well, when you're buying, things. you've got to look at what's out there, haven't you? Same if you're looking at buying a tractor, you're going to look at all, all options, aren't you? Everything. I look at the service, it? interval, service costs, yeah. how close the dealer is, what it's going to uh, exactly. how quick they can get to us, the parts department, that's exactly the availability, it. resale value. Because the thing is, you, when, you know what it's like? It's, it's a fairly quick decision, but once you bought it, you might have it 20 years. Well, that's what happened with the last one. And then you don't want to be thinking, oh, Jesus, you know. Yeah. I... And the thing is with this, I mean, the one I had, it was full mm. of electric gizmos, which are lovely. Yeah, they go wrong, though, don't they? I don't know, do they? <laughs> have, they have they been around long enough to go? I don't know. No, you're right. But I mean, pretty was, stuff's pretty reliable now. Everything was there on the button yeah. to, you know, so I knew what was going on. I, looked, yeah. I didn't think I'd like it. Right. But I, I did. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Until he, gave me the, until he gave me the quote. Yeah. And it was like, you know. yeah. Well, this isn't cheap, mind. Yeah, it's a good cure for constipation. It is, isn't it? I was just sort of like, when you hear the price, you go, uh, yeah. Yeah. Then you've got to divide that by 10 or 15, and then look at the residual value at the end of it and go, actually, it's only cost me £1,000 a year or something. It's more to justify in the use for the... Yeah. Which is something I've got to come to on this, really, is, yeah. you know, there's the reality and different from maybe... Reality what is, is stuff moves This on. is not Farm Simulator, though, is it? It's not, no. oh, I'll just go and buy that, because... No. This isn't, this I think isn't. some of us, we both know, some of our younger fans just yeah. go, buy that, buy that. Buy that. But on Farm Simulator, you can buy all that, can't you? Well, f from what I understand of it, some of them claim Farm Subsidy is some <laughs> stupid amount of like, money and then, <laughs> then go and buy a £100,000 tractor. And it's like, yeah, but you didn't see all the paperwork you had to fill in to get the £450 yeah. that's left of the subsidy. I know. I just realised your camera's just filming the back of me. That's all right, mate. I probably all get out. I'll no, get no, out no, no, that's all right. Do you want to have a drive in this? I can open the top gate. No, don't worry about it because um, I'm going to have one to play with anyway. Well, you are, aren't you? Yeah. yeah so, I might um, pop up and have a look at yours well, when you well, get. Well, I know you're past. Oh, well, you can pop in. Yeah. So I might have the trailer on, so yeah. I might have to come in that way. But um, when are you getting it? Uh, Thursday, I think. Right. Thursday or Friday. So I think I got it for a couple of days. Oh, okay. I want to bring back some more of those yeah. rails. Yeah. So I've asked for one with a loader and a, a squeezer on it. So I yeah. Press, press you haven't got a squeezer. Then. No. Oh, well, lucky you see ours. This is a good thing about this kit. It's all Euro bracket, as they call oh, it. So I. I've taken it off because he's picking up tomorrow. But yeah. um, the good thing is, all this stuff just interchangeable. So it doesn't yeah. matter. I mean, it's 30 years old, I'll squeeze yeah. it, but it still works. Well, the quickie loader I've got, that's quickie loader. Um, there's a headstock that will do old and new. Right. So, oh, that's good. So it'll do both, but yeah. it's more expensive. Uh, <laughs> it all is. Yeah. I'll get out in a minute anyway. No, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just leave you to look. Yeah. I'm just going to leave you in to look. 
You've got a 540 economy as well, 1,540. There he is. He's already in zone, look, a typical farmer in his zone. Yeah. I'll leave you in to do it. So anyway, review of this is coming tomorrow. Meanwhile, I'll look at him. He'll be sniffing the seats in a minute. I will! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not my smell, the new smell. Oh, yeah, right. The new okay, smell of trucks. Yeah, you don't want to sniff anything. You're not having any more cake, mate. <laughs> no <laughs> that cake. came out really bad, didn't it? <laughs> don't sniff my seat. Look at, look at him. Look at what you can find in there. Yeah, looking for freebies. In the 70s, so, you'd like find. This. I like the little in the 70s, you'd find naughty magazines in there. <laughs> On tractors. Anyway, that's another story. Cut. <laughs> right. See you later. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.